Minecraft movie trailer. Let's get into it. But in all seriousness, let's get into the actual reaction of the Minecraft movie trailer. Already un uncan to the games. To the game. Oh! I already- I see- I saw villagers, hold on. Okay, th okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, I don't know about what that thing was. This looks really beautiful. Okay, the creeper looks okay. Bastion? S Steve? That's going to the quote book. Best movie quote. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. It looks good. It looks good. Let me do my, let me do a breakdown. So, the trailer opens up with this, like, blue portal. We don't know, but I feel like it still has to do something with the blue cube that they were holding in the trailer. It opens up to this very, very gorgeous, well-built village, I'm assuming. Um, there's some villagers down, like, on the paths and stuff. There's some, like, animals around here. And everything. Let me see. There's a wandering trader down there in the right-hand corner. Um, there's some cherry blossom trees. I just see some in, like, in the, in the trailer, like, later in the, in the trailer. There's some chickens down at the very bottom. Villagers. Okay. Okay, this just looks really beautiful. Oh my god. This looks gorgeous. I love that water on the middle right. That looks so good. Uh, I really like these flowers right here. It's a very lively world. Without, like, having any animals, it's very lively. And it looks really good. Okay, so we have Garrett. I think that's what his name is. We have Jason Momoa. Uh, don't know her name. Enid from Wednesday. Um, they just came out of the blue portal. Pink sheep. Pink sheep. I really like this design for the pink sheep. That just looks really good. I really like that. Okay. Um, just them. Yeah, this blue cube must have something to do with the portal, I'm guessing. Very nice, uh, flowers, very nice trees. I really like these trees. Um, gas look a little iffy, in my opinion. They look okay, but I really do like the piglin designs and, like, how, like, the gas are holding up these chains so they can fly around. Wolf, wolf, okay. Run wild, uh, okay, this... Okay, now this part has a lot of references. So, uh, let's start on the wall back here. We have some TNT. I'm guessing an ender chest right here. Um, some flying boots. Here, we get a better view right here. We have some watermelon. I'm guessing right there up near the TNT is a, uh, leather helmet. Uh, maybe an enchanted diamond helmet and then a regular diamond helmet on the bottom. Some fireworks. And then right above the fireworks is like a bookshelf, probably with like books and enchanting, like enchanting books. And then right above that, some probably magma blocks, I'm guessing. And um, then a lantern below the flying boots. I feel like these aren't these aren't in the game. They aren't. Um, and then above those flying boots, we got a watermelon, a pumpkin, kind of all, like all that. And there's a whole bunch of like TNT above there. Um. 
There's something down there. That might be an egg or something. And then just a second ago, there was... Hold on. There was... Yeah, right where his arm is, there's a painting from the games. And then off to the left of there, by Garrett, there's a diamond sword. I'm assuming it's stone or iron sword. And there's another sword below him right there, but I don't know what that is. And then there is a trident back there. And there's, like, another, like long weapon behind that trident right there i have no clue what that could be i think that's all the references i see uh barrels right down there with something on it um that's all i see in this room oh uh oh steve's holding a shield uh garrett's holding something i don't know if jason momoa's character is holding anything oh okay uh, so they broke a piece of wood and it's just floating in right there uh, I'm not seeing any other things from the games. Uh, yeah And he tries to pick it up Some more piglins. I like the design of the piglins. They look pretty good uh, Something says Steve's lava chicken up in the corner the exploding pig in the background Just piglins probably a gold sword yeah, it's definitely a gold sword. A wood sword wouldn't give off that glint. Maybe these guys might have like an iron or gold sword, but they are not reflecting like this one is. This guy is definitely the leader, though. Uh, Jason Mogink snuck up on by a creeper. That looks pretty good. Okay, maybe the creeper doesn't look so good. It looks okay. It's, yeah, that it looks okay. It looks like the creeper, but it's, I feel like they're adding too much fur to everything. Um, probably in a bastion, but like this thing in the middle. I heard some people speculating that it was a uh, Enderman, but I don't feel like it's an Enderman. Um, it looks like it, it's like holding like a staff, and then like the eyes looking at Steve probably, and it's like a little hunched over. Uh, a big one almost freaking dying right there. Um, just some torches. There might be like another fortress up here where my mouse cursor is. Definitely like a bastion of some sort. And then what I was saying, like the cherry blossom right here, that's definitely like a cherry blossom thing. And they're still holding this like blue cube. Cherry blossom. Nothing else, just some wood planks. Wood logs. A uh, better shot of the cherry blossom in the background. And then the tile screen. Just some blocks, lava. Yeah, it, it looks solid. And then just a llama, some more barrels, uh, probably a garden with flowers. Not typically, uh, not typical villager houses. Not bad. Um, and then an arrow from the piglins. And then in theaters, April 4th. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. It looks pretty good now i don't really have any complaints about it i think they're just adding too much further to creeper that's my only complaint about this movie it looks great i am genuinely excited for this this might be my most hype movie of 2025 this is going to be peak minecraft jack black's in it the director of Nacho libre and napoleon diamond is directing this movie so i i guarantee you the comedy is going to be really good um I don't know much about it. Let's see what the description says. Um, from Warner Brothers Pictures, from Warner Brothers Pictures and Legendary Pictures, and starring Jason Momoa and Jack Black, a Minecraft movie directed by Jared Hess is the first ever big screen live action adaptation of Minecraft, the best selling video game of all time. Let me switch to the other view. This film also stars Emma Myers Wednesday, Oscar nominee Daniel Brooks, The Color Purple, Sebastian Eugene Hansen, Just Mercy, uh, Lisey Story with Jennifer Coolidge. Welcome to the world of Minecraft where creative creativity doesn't just help you craft. It's essential to one survival. Four misfits, Garrett the Garbage Man, Garrison, Momoa. Oh, I, okay, I guess... Jason Momoa's character is called Garrett. I got it mixed up. Henry Hansen. I guess that's the kid's name, I'm assuming. Natalie Myers and Don Brooke find themselves 
struggling with ordinary problems when they all are suddenly pulled through a mysterious portal into the overworld. A bizarre cubic wonderland that thrives on imagination to get back home, they'll have to master the, this world and protect it from the things like piglins and zombies too. Embarking on a magical quest with an unexpected crafter, Steve Black. <laughs> okay, that's a choice. Together, they adventure. their adventure will change all five to be bold and to reconnect with the qualities that make each of them uniquely creative. The very skills they need to thrive back in the real world. That's the essential, like, breakdown of it. It looks good. I do like the cast. I feel like they might have needed to recast Jason Momoa as, like, Steve. But I'm not too... Oh, my God. Oh, I just realized what the dislike counter is. It is 1.5 million dislikes. Holy crap. Why is it so high? Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.